If your goal is to build muscle and lose fat at the same time, in other words, you don't want to fatten up and slim up, basically bulk and cut, then this video is exactly for you. Whether you're a recreational lifter or a competitive athlete who needs to make a weight class, I'll be showing you exactly how to recomp the proper way, the number one scientifically proven method of doing this. But before we dive into the topic of recomping, I first need you to be aware of some of the problems associated with it, because it's not all fun and games, okay? The number one issue with it is that your strength gains will not be as good as a traditional bulk and cut. You just need to accept this as a fact and realize that when recopping, you're in this for the long term. Okay, so the gains, because you're, some days will be in a deficit, other days will be in a surplus, and the macronutrients are kind of varying as well, it's not very perfect in this regard. And also the, the periodization, you gotta be very careful with that as well. So if you're overdoing it on the volume, it's gonna destroy the effects of the recon. So everything has to be perfect. That The training program has to be perfect, and the nutritional program has to be on point. So if any of those things are off, you, you won't even benefit from recomping at all. And if everything is perfect, then the strength gains are still going to be less than if you were to do a traditional bulk and cut. So realize it's for the long term, you're not going to get as jacked, as strong as a traditional bulk and cut. But I can understand this if you just, you're really obsessed about your abs, you don't want to lose them. Or if you're an athlete that needs to stay within a, you know, a weight class, a power lift, like you got a range between 165 and 181, this is really your best option. You can't be screwing around with the bulks and cuts anyway, so just accept it. You're not going to get it strong. Face the facts, all right? Second point, recomping, the, the effects of recomping, the benefits you gain from them is going to vary depending on your training experience. Basically, if you're a novice lifter, aka beginner, oh yeah, you're going to recomp very easily. It's going to be almost automatic. As a matter of fact, you probably don't even need this video. Just eating at maintenance calories will do you just fine. If you're an intermediate, you need a bit more meticulous uh, nutritional programming, right? You have to start using some of the strategies I'm going to talk about in this video. And if you're advanced, it's got to be everything on point. Basically, what I said before, nutrition's got to be solid, solid, solid. Training program has to be solid, solid, solid. If any one thing is off, you will not benefit whatsoever. So really, recomping, the gains that you'll get from it, it depends on training experience. So with those things out of the way, let's dive into recomping, how to do it effectively the best way. Now, the typical advice that guys do is they tell you to just eat at maintenance calories. They say that if you eat at maintenance, obviously you're not gonna gain fat and you're gonna gain muscle because you're still eating enough calories to make strength gains. No, this is not gonna work. It's not gonna work for shit, especially if you take into the training experience. It's gonna work for novices, intermediates and advanced, you're gonna stall 100% of the time. So the intelligent way to recomp, the scientifically proven method, is to do some days in a caloric deficit and other days in a calorie surplus. That's the best way. So I'm in a seven day week, right? You might go three to four days in a deficit, and then the remainder of the days you would eat in a caloric surplus. And in those calorie surplus days, you would regain what you lost at the beginning of the week. So by the, the next week, you would have regained everything. You would have been back at the maintenance calories. Does this make sense, guys? Everything that you eat during the calorie surplus days, you're bringing yourself back to maintenance. So that's how you're doing it. It's, it's a weekly bulk and cut system. It's weekly. And when you do it this way, it's, there's nothing that can beat it. It's far superior to doing this than cutting for three weeks, than bulking for three weeks. Dude, that's not going to work for shit. Trust me, it's not going to work. You're going to yo-yo your strength too much. It's really going to be a bad idea. But if you do it this way, some days in the deficit, other days in the uh, surplus, there's a really good contrast effect. And let me explain why. The surplus days, you're not just eating in a surplus. You're actually doing refeeds at the same time. The refeed days, they're going to replenish the muscle glycogen that you lost during the week, it's also going to help you deal with the psychological factors of cutting. And basically, when you move on to the next week, your strength is going to be maintained for those given workout sessions because you have the super compensation effect of the muscle glycogen. See, that's one of the reasons why you lose strength while you cut because cutting just depletes all your resources. But when recomping, it's absolutely essential that you incorporate the refeed days. So let me sum up again. It's very, very simple. There's, it's really, people overcomplicate it, but it's not. Some days you're in a deficit, you know, 500 calorie deficit, whatever. Other days, you're in a surplus. And in the surplus days, you have the refeeds. And the refeeds replenish all your depleted resources, which allows you to come back strong for the next week. And that's why also, uh, how come training is so important? The periodization is of utmost importance. Because if you fuck that up, you're not going to benefit from the muscle glycogen uh, super compensation effect. It, you're going to deplete way too fast, and then the strength gains are going to go down. So you'll see, that's why it's very important. So that's it guys, that's how you recomp. There's no better way to do it. This is the number one scientifically proven way. Some days you're in a deficit, other days you're in a surplus. All right, it's that simple. And like I said before, your gains will not be as good as traditional bulks and cuts, okay? You just gotta accept that. And the more advanced you get, oh, this is gonna be a lot more difficult to do. So if you're an elite lifter and you're doing these strategies, you're gonna gain strength. It's just gonna be at a very slow rate. So you have to understand that, accept it, and move on. 
But that's how you do it, guys. That's how you recomp. If you want a bonus added on top of this video, then go to outalpha.com slash recomp. I'm going to give you a free report. It's going to basically sum up what I said in this video in text form and kind of give you a bit extra details. It's basically an excerpt from my book, The Alpha Diet. So I think you'll enjoy what you read. Anyway, guys, this is all for you today. If you have any questions about recomping, if you've actually done a recomp in the past, share with me your experiences. I'd love to hear how it worked out for you. Talk to you next time.